The highest documented reach for NBA players is 12 feet 5 inches, and that record, surprisingly, belongs to Shaquille O'Neal. Now, at the 2007 NBA Slam Dunk Contest, Dwight Howard slapped a sticker on the glass that was said to be one inch higher. But the size of the sticker made it unclear how high Howard actually touched, and his true reach was never verified. So we brought Dwight Howard right here into the ESPN Sports Science Lab to officially document his maximum vertical reach and to determine once and for all who is the real Superman. With a standing reach of 9 feet 2 and a half inches, Dwight needs a vertical leap of 39 inches to break Shaq's record of 12 feet 5 inches. Now, if Dwight can sky that high, we want to know how. So we wire him up with science. We're going to put tech scan sensors in his shoes. It has a bunch of little sensors in it that'll give us a pressure distribution as well as a force. But this isn't going to work for Dwight. What we're going to need to do is use the big one. Powering up. I am ready for science. <laughs> With the hoop 10 feet off the ground, Dwight will need to put a mark more than 29 inches above the rim to break Shaq's documented record. Here we go, ready? Three, two, one, go! Bring it down, bring it down. That might have done it. 28 and three quarters. One more. We won't get this today, because I'm the real Superman. That's it. Dirty. I'm in dirty. I'm in dirty. How does 280 pound Dwight Howard launch 39 and a half inches? Our sensors reveal that he pushes off the ground with more than 1,200 pounds of force, generating over 1,500 watts of power. The result is a record-setting reach of 12 feet 6 inches. 30! 30! 3-0! To give you an idea of how much power that is, if 180-pound Nate Robinson could generate the same power as Dwight Howard, in theory, Nate's vertical leap could be about 61 inches. For ESPN Sports Science, I'm John Brinkus. Hey!